Um, yes, uh, we want to become the leader in producing low-cost green, uh, basically low-cost silicon metal. Silicon metal is the key ingredient to make solar panel. You need five gram, you need high purity silicon metal. You need five gram of that stuff to make one watt of new energy. Okay. We're, we're developing a disruptive technologies, basically to transform in one step. You take quartz, which is the second most uh, common material on planet Earth, carbon. You put it through heat and you produce high purity silicon metal. Seems to be simple, but we're basically transforming a technology that was originally invented in 1895, certainly correct. Uh, the results are radical, the science is relatively simple, and we're developing this in partnership with uh, Pyrogenesis, another publicly traded company in Montreal. And the reason behind this was that we thought it'd be easier to have a outsource our resource development and do it internally. So. Where does silicon metal enter into the, uh, the solar business? Simple, you need quartz, you then make metallurgy grade silicon metal, that's one transformation, and then you further refine it to make the solar grade silicon metal. Right now, everything you're hearing in the world about reducing the cost of a, silica, of a photovoltaic system has been done by the Chinese as they work to find ways to improve this, this part of the process. And this represents 70% of the cost, 30% is here. What we are aiming to do is simply combine these two steps into one. And we're, we're on a good track to reach that goal. Thank you. Um, basically, this is the cash cost of all the producer of high purity silicon metal for the solar industry. These are people that buy metallurgy grade silicon metal and then further refine it. What you're seeing here is the $15 cost, uh, $16 selling price right now of the market. And what all the industry experts are saying is a, a, a cash cost be, be, between below $15 a kilogram is not sustainable. The other issue that's interesting is the worldwide demand is about 350,000 tons. So we've now reached a point where it, we are in a structural deficit. And the problem really is going to be how do you meet that structural deficit as more and more people want solar system in their, in, in their technology. What we're looking at doing is basically producing the material for the same cost as their in-source material for the transformation. So that's really where our competitive advantage is. Next slide, if possible. There you go. We're also the, the, the greenest process around. Everybody talks about solar system being green, but in reality, transforming the material isn't very green. It produces something like, uh, uh, it produced 54 kilograms of, of uh, CO2 per kilogram of material, we're producing 14. The other area where we have a green advantage is simple, is because if you realize that basically 75% of all the CO2 uh, in the process comes from the mining extraction in those parts. And what we're developing is a system that is not a, um, a smelter process, but mostly a reactor process, which will allow us to locate our production facilities close to the mine. And since you need three tons of quartz to make one ton of silicon metal, by default you'll cut two-thirds of transportation costs. Next slide, please. Um, well, this is the other green advantage that we have. Basically, this is our process. It basically goes to the heat. We only produce the material. All the other uh, process being used out there use a lot of very nasty chemicals, so we have another green advantage. It's much better for the environment for getting the environmental permits. Next slide, please. Ah, this is the other thing that's very interesting. Yes, China is able to produce cheap wafer and cheap solar panel, but what are the rest of the world doing to combat this is basically they're asking now for what's known as the total footprint, uh, the total CO2 footprint of any system. Now that means if you take a look here, most of it in a solar system, most of it comes basically from building and assembling the system. But where does that come from? From basically transforming the quartz into metallurgy grade silicon metal and further refining it and everything else. This is China, this is Europe. So as the process moves, one of the constraints that have been there is that new solar plant and new solar farm must also have a complete CO2 footprint analysis. So that makes the Chinese system less and less efficient. So that's another advantage for us. Next slide. That's just the you know, typical structure. Uh, key point is management and board. We control about 22% fully diluted. We, we've been trading between 
15 and 30 cents since last year we've come here. Um, and one of the main point is uh, last year we reached a very important threshold, which was we've been able to prove at, la at lab scale that the process works. And we immediately decided to push the envelope by going immediately to pilot plant at the same time as we keep refining the process into it. So we'll have our pilot plan ready soon. Next slide, please. That's, you know, there's a paper copy in the back if you want to read it, but fundamentally there's, we are definitely in the downstreaming of our operations, and if we can succeed all the way to going the solar wafer, we would really like that to fully integrate that. Because the silicon metal industry is an 11 billion industry divided into three sectors. First, the mining of the quartz to the metallurgy grade is only $300 million. The metallurgy grade silicon metal is an, is, a six, is an $8 billion a year business. And the solar grade industry, which is further refining, is another $5 billion. So this, we want to be able to incorporate as much as we can from the entire process. Next slide, please. Uh, OK, as I said, we're working with pyrogenesis. What's the advantage? A lot of us, when we go from being simple miners to going technology companies, we've never basically scaled up anything. You know, we know how to scale up a mine, do a development, do drilling programs. We don't know how to scale up. And when usually the process is a, a professor from the university comes to you and tells you, uh, I have this great process and it's going to work, it's going to be scaling up, so the investors end up paying the, uh, the learning curve of the team. Working with Pyrogenesis, they've basically done that many, many times over. So we've been, by outsourcing to them, we get their expertise and everything else. And it's been, it's been very advantageous to us. Next slide, please. So this is, last year when I came to talk, this is how much material we were producing. It's nothing else, a thin layer on top. And what we did here, we basically took some ultra high purity quartz and we transformed it into, into high purity silicon metal. Working with pyrogenesis, we've been able just at the first step of the process to continue to increase it. But what we're now doing, as we're building the pilot plant, as we're developing more and more parameters to do it, we've been able not only to keep increasing the material that we can produce and, and increasing the purity of it, I like to remind people that we're using some really low quality material. We're aiming to produce a product that's going to have between 100 ppm of impurities to 10 ppm of impurities. And th all these tests were done using material with over 18,000 ppms of impurities to start off with. So we are really removing impurities. Well, the, basically, the, what this shows is this, the process is, is, we're demonstrating scaling up capacities at lab scale. So it's, it's a very good omen for when we have the pilot plan ready. Next slide, please. Okay, so this, I'll go quickly over this, but basically the traditional process, you take quartz, wood chip, uh, carbon source, you put it in the heat in, in a traditional furnace, and you basically produce the first product. 15% is further refined, nasty chemical byproduct. Key point is here is, is literally, we already know that this is 45% of the cost, which about 10% is quartz, 10% is wood chip, 20% is, 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 is carbon. The rest of it is the graphite anoid here. See, we're just immediately eliminating one. So we already know that our cash costs, our, our input costs are going to be lower. Energy costs, we know we're using the same. And our output, we're here. And that sells between thirteen dollars and $16,000. There's paper copies in the back if you guys want to go through it or it's on the website. Also, the other advantage that we have is really going to be in the capex. This is an extremely expensive industry. That's the barrier to entries. To build a new plant, just to transform silicon, uh, metallurgy grade silicon metal to solar grade, you're going to have an investment anywhere between half a billion to a billion and a half. That's just no way around it. But we're talking about doing it for mm, even 5% of that. Next slide. So this is, a, this is an interesting slide. We're the only process that goes from quartz to solar grade silicon metal. We have a capex cost per kilogram, which is the, per, the uh, what people are using really as a, as a baseline, of $18.05 per capex. All right? right now, the minimum size you need to build a new plant is about 6,000 ton. If you use a traditional uh, Siemens process, you're going to be around, f uh, I don't even see my numbers here. Anyway, it's, gonna be, it's between 75 and 45. We're at four. Key point is, we are on track on time. Pilot plant is going to be finished to be assembled by um, in the October or November of this year, it will be operational next year. It's a 200-ton pilot plant. The goal without objective is to be able to validate scaling up. 
being able to operate the plant 24 hours a day for seven days straight to produce material so we can have some material to send to potential buyer. Uh, the advantage of the size of the market we're in, because it's so big, we're not uh, overly focused on getting uh, basically outtake agreement. We're going to be much more interested at the beginning of supplying the, um, the basically the open market for it. There's a, there's a small open market for it, which is about 10% of it. So there's more than enough space for us to enter the production. Next slide. Next slide, please. Of the cost of this. All right, this is the interesting part. Well, it's an eight, it was an $8.2 million cost between 2016 and 2018. We're right now in the middle of buildup. We've already paid $3 million, so $4 million so far. We've got another million to pay. And, but our cash calls are relatively small. We have a good cash position because of uh, warrants exercise and those things that we can finance. Plus, there's a lot of interest from the Quebec government and federal government to finance the development. So we will be finalizing those discussions in the coming months. Uh, fundamentally, we also have $2.3 million worth of warrants that are in the money and they're in, they're in friendly hands. So that gives us more flexibilities. And where our capital structure is designed, if we get the share price above 30 cents, that will, be, that will jump up to another $11 million of fundraising there. So we're in, a good, we're in a good position, we're in a good spot, we're in a good market, and we're also the only player in this field. So that's really interesting. Next slide. Uh, well, I have to talk a bit about our properties. We are the largest owner of high purity quartz properties in Quebec. We have some very high, beautiful material. Our ultimate objective is to feed, to, to, to basically to have full vertical integration using our feedstock, but we're not dependent on that. But that's really the goal. Next slide, please. Okay, we are the only player in the lucrative solar grade silicon metal. That's it. The fun part about this presentation is you see there's a lot of players that are in the same field. We're the only one in this field. And we have some very disruptive advantage. We're a low OPEX, low CAPEX, minimum carbon footprint, minimum environmentally friendly process. We're less than 20% of the industry's cash costs, 5% of their CAPEX costs. Uh, estimated 75% reduction in carbon footprint. We're also no nasty byproduct or anything else. We're building a pilot plant because we understood that from the moment we started to make these claims until we can validate them with a the pilot plant, um, it would just be, you know, objective that we're showing. But people have to realize the pilot plant is going to be operational at pyrogenesis um, uh, plant. Uh, Pilot plant is going to be operational at Pyrogenesis plant in Montreal. So it'll be very easy for us to bring investors to go take a look, seeing the system operates and everything else. We don't have to build a plant, it's just the system is going to be installed there. We're also the only process in the world that can turn 98% SiO2, which is basically material that is only good for your, uh, your lawn ornament. <laughs> It's really that white quartz that you buy at uh, Loblaws, not Loblaws, or even uh, Home Depot. Okay, and we're the only one that can turn it into 3N material. And what's really interesting is that there's a massive market that's untouched because nobody has been able to do it. But if we don't have it, if we build it, it's going to come. Our objective is to be able to produce solar grade silicon metal for the same, same cost that people make metallurgy grade silicon metal. That means that all other uh, if people want higher purity material, they usually have to basically overbuy. They have to buy an ultra pure material. That's not what they're looking for. So we'll be able to, to tailor it more. Our development strategies, once we've proven that the pilot plant can work, we want to start building in a gradual phases from a 2,000 ton a year reactors to then building up 10,000 ton, ton, 10, ton per year reactors. So that's really our goal. And if everything works well, we hope to do this within three years after we've proven the uh, the, 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 the uh, pilot plan works. Tracy?